Hello everyone, welcome back to Binding of Isaac. We have to do everything. Uh, let's do media mode. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it as Eden. That seems interesting. Let's try that. This means we're going to burn through a lot of... Oh god. <laughs> We've got Stompy and an HP upgrade in our first item room is nice. We also have a nail, which I think is going to help us somewhat because it's going to be producing a whole bunch of HP for us. A new pillar's appeared. Just from something a shitload of stuff. That fucking spider came out of a uh, pot. And I was going so damn close that I couldn't run away from it before it hit me in the face. Whatever. We can get a lot of our HP back from the nail charges that we're going to be getting. So I'll go to the first room, which will give us one switch. Uh, pardon me? This fucking. I'm not even going to shoot you. You don't deserve my wrath. That's how bad you are. Well, I guess we use our nail charge, get a bit of your leg, and plus one with the type damage. We are so slow now that we've used the nail though, because the nail is a speed downgrade, Leo is a speed downgrade. Uh, where did that enemy disappear? To? Why did we get a damage upgrade to taking damage? Do you think the nail will continue to stack speed downgrades? That seems bad, I don't want that. We do have Placenta though, which will slowly uh, replenish our HP over time. We have taken Red Heart damage, but in Greed mode, we don't need to worry about that to deal with the Devil Precedent. We only need to worry about that when we're not dying. And of course we have, oh, we have Samson's, uh, we have the Red Pack as a trinket, so that is causing the occasional bloody level effect. We can use this again. We can't get any slower, apparently, so that's fine. We didn't take any more damage upgrade either. But, uh, oh, right, don't step on the explodey rock when you have stomping. Um, we did get our HP from that. And we have the credit card, which means we don't have to spend the HP on the deal with the devil. Which means that the deal with the devil is something we want, but not that much. Putting void portals, by the way, on the medium mode is just. Um, if we don't really want the deal with the devil, but we wouldn't mind it, then we can maintain angel precedent, or, or at least non devil precedent by not paying for it. Right, good. Um, I don't know if we want to continue. I think we should. What the just in quotes, dingle. Air quotes, just dingle. But avoiding... Oh, it's for a charge dingle, which I didn't realise, because I can't tell that, because I don't know how you're supposed to tell that. Um, but I'm not fast enough to get the fuck out of the way. And here's a second dingle, just to piss me right off. I guess we know that if we knew that it was going to do some One, two, three, four, and now the other one's charging it four times. No, uh, just three. Oh, yep, yeah, yeah, four times. At least there's only two ways. And this red poop is actually going to be some sort of a, a blast deal for it. Respawns. So now I'm focusing down the wrong dingle because this one is not nearly as dead as that one. Lost a lot of HP there. Well, lost a little bit of HP. Getting hit by these bingles is basically guaranteed right now. Like, please die. How oh, can you both be so close to dead? There is no. Oh, the other one isn't. Ah ha 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 ha! Very funny. Um, I mean, it's too much of a chance that we die, basically. We have 23 cents. What do you spend it on? What indeed? You buy a key, you take the key into the item room, and you get the Necronomicon. Which would help... Oh, it would help for everything except for what we've already done. Uh, so it would help for only on what we've already done, and I want to keep the nail... Oh, Chaos. Chaos is here! Friends, we have a great opportunity right now. There is also a five cent... Um, Five cent trinket that allows us to buy anything from the shop. Uh, okay, so we've got a lot of Larry Juniors, and also I just popped a red boot by standing on it, and it didn't cause me to take any damage. Probably don't stand next to a Larry Junior when it's about to force to turn. This Larry Junior fight has gone really, really well compared to the fight before it, which is not the deal with the devil fight. Right, really, really bad. But we don't have an opportunity to use the credit card right now, so I'm wondering if what we actually want to do is use the credit card early on this shop. <sighs> I mean, if we're going to do that, 
then we take the D6, don't we? Right, here's what I'm gonna do. Credit card. Credit card. We get everything for free. Spirit heart, store credit. Get another spirit heart from uh, using this um, nail charge. How's our range? It's very low. So I will take a range upgrade, which also happens to be a mom item. I will take the D6. I will use a bomb on here. And take... I don't think Contract Below is any good for us at all. So I will take a re-roll. Guppy's head. Oh, Cricket's head. What do you take? Guppy's head or Cricket's head? Cricket's head is such a good damage upgrade that it would be very silly not to take it. I think. But now we can't buy Guppy's head because we don't have any money. We haven't got a bomb, so we can't exploit that. So... I guess we can hope that there's some money in uh, this exit route. And don't forget, we don't need to worry about how how slowly we're going. And we re-rolled the nail into... Um, there's no money here. That's really upsetting. Uh, we re-rolled the nail into black powder, which we're not quite fast enough for yet. Maybe these fires have two more cents? I just need two more cents. Come on, and we can buy Guppy's head. Come on! Nickel! Oh. No fire here. Oh, what a ball like... -ache. I mean, we could buy a five. Uh, we haven't even got a bomb. Uh, that's a crying shame, but I think we did the right thing to buy Cricket's head first. And that was a little bit of an experimental sciencing that we can actually walk over red loops without taking damage. Uh, just simply because we popped them first. We also have... Well, Tammy's head doesn't really do anything for us, because although we can use it on every wave, we will not recharge our D6 as a result. So. I think that's a D6 target right there. And milk. I will take milk because it gives you a tears upgrade when you get hit on a room, but it gives you the upgrade for the entire room. Now we have seven cents, so that would have been a great not win everyone. And there's two small rugs. Alright, this has turned out really, really well to begin with. And honestly, this is uh the look of this is um fairly standard um just look. It's not Eden look. It's got nothing to do with the fact we started off as Eden. So we can use the Sun card as a temporary Necronomic card. We must be careful not to step on these mushrooms. I will go in here and apparently get three bombs. No reroll on this floor, so I guess what we do is we save our money. It seems like the sensible thing to do. And it is an option, maybe we step on the button when we have a reroll on our D6. So we can go back and reroll Tammy's head. Uh, or we can re-roll our shop, but honestly I'd rather spend money on a shop that we can completely re-roll because then we re-roll trinkets and consumables um, as well as the items, 15 cent items, and we could re-roll into a 7 cent item that we really want. I mean, Guppy's head could come around again. And it would be only the first Guppy item that we found on this one. Our damage is amazing. 9.5 damage at this stage is excellent. And of course I hadn't actually taken uh, any damage until that point, so we didn't have to get the milk to pop off. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head doesn't do it for me, sorry. No, that's not Bob's Rotten Head, that's Bob's Brain. It does it even less for me. You can't really use Bob's Brain to blow up the um, reroll machine where we find one. Kind of, to me, is the only reason to have a, a reusable bomb of any description. So, if you can't get bombs around head to do that, I think it would only be really dangerous for us. From that point on. Now, do you take pills? A speed upgrade would be super useful. I think I might rather just buy one. I did get landed on by a leaper from across the screen. Uh, that, that was my chance. I think I will take the pill now. Down! That's the opposite! It's even worse! Oh no. Right, here's an option. I kinda wanna use the sun card as an HP thingy, like an emergency HP thingy, but once you get to use it here, you get rid of this massive amount of fistula that's going on. Where's the other one? Ah! Oh no, I don't like this. But like, there's two of these buttons as well. Go back. Get behind this. So what you do on Gurdy Junior is just make sure that it's bouncing horizontally off. Ah, I guess on this one you actually want it to bounce first. It gives you a lot more leeway. Uh, on the next 
fight, which gives us a deal with the devil. And the next fight, comma, which gives us a deal with the devil, comma, we will also get a reroll. Which is a Larry Jr. and a Chub. If you Chub out of our sight, whoops, then we should be okay. In fact, we can throw a little circle there and try and get someone to go. There you go. That was an excellent use of black powder when I have 0.74 speed, if I do say so myself. Tiny little circle on the floor, just to get things to walk over it. Worked out really well. Especially when you have something like Chub, which you can bake on. It's not a speed down, even though I thought it was. Again, accidentally using black powder. You tend to think of black powder as something that you can't really get any use out of unless you have high speed. But this is not so. Uh, I think we have chaos, of course. So, I hate this. Motherfucker. Get out of my life. I will definitely take Sinrose. I guess I'll deal with the angel opening. And there's Guppy's head back. So, I, I'm quite happy with that. I'm not going to keep it, and I wish I could re-roll it. Put it out of energy? No, I'm excited. Um, I wish I could keep it. No, I wish I could re-roll it. I don't really want to keep it. We could re-roll Bob's brain, which exists twice in this fucking floor. So I'm going to. I think it's worth... Yeah, an HP upgrade is good. It's good enough anyway. It is, if nothing else, something to spend on the deal with the devil on the next floor, if you want to go through with it. We're doing okay. We're Super slow and it's very upsetting, but but so we're super strong. We have two keys, and I think we've got the depths, we've got the wound. Another rate script rate is also fine. It's not a speed upgrade by any chance, no. Uh, and some spirit hearts and some keys. So that's us sorted for keys on the rest of the run, I think. We've got the womb after the depths. Uh, we've got ooh, Seraphim is here. Is Seraphim any good? I mean, I know mean, Seraphim's pretty good. Is it good enough to spend money on right now? Swallowed Penny. That's really good. If I'm taking damage, which I am. I mean, you want to take Swallow Penny, don't you? I think we uh, we roll the bones a little bit here. We don't need keys. Uh, pardon me? You did not blow this up. Uh, I will take a lump of coal. And I will re-roll. I don't think it's worth taking the... Of revelations because we would only probably use it once anyway. Hey, was it's just a shoot out of this one. After the womb, there is Sheol. After Sheol, there is the shop which doesn't need a key, so we need two more keys and we have three. So that's fine. It means we can open a golden chest. I'm just going to keep making these little circles. They're not very big because we can't move very fast, um, but they are actually helping out because anything that spawns in them or walks onto them. Is feeling the feeling the burn. Got this quick. Now if we go up there, we're going to be accosted by the uh, brimstone asshole. Not the greatest idea in terms of damage, but I would like the reroll for. We have no item room to reroll, so I would like the reroll for the shop because we want to keep our money to buy something. Uh, there's nine lives and there's sack dagger and I want to buy all three of these and there's no conceivable way we can do so uh, There was a scent out here. I didn't realize which is a shame because I would have been able to buy at least one of those three things Probably would not have gone with nine lives first. I think I would go with the mark first Because sack dagger requires us to have enough speed to dodge the enemies that we're trying to use sack dagger on and we don't really have the speed for that Because you have to get close to the enemies so you want to be able to dodge away from the enemies that you're too close to uh, the mark is just a straight up easy ass damage up there. it doesn't really pull any you No, know, it doesn't hide anything, there's no there's no secrets to it. What? Not enough damage to beat that bastard. Unbelievable. Unbelievable Jeff. So there's enough money to buy the mark, which we do. But is actually a speed upgrade? So now we are still super slow, but not hella slow. Which is nice. Let me get these two ways. What? I lost the stain. Secret stain. Hide the stain. Don't tell anyone. There's Loki. Loki should be easy enough with the stain. Thank you. Don't, don't worry about it too much. The only thing I'm worried about the stain is uh, the stain's really obnoxious attack that it actually didn't do before attack. So we're okay with it. 
I'm feeling a little bit more on the ball right now. I mean, our damage is great, which is healthy. But I've just done the daily and I just... I won it, and it was an Azazel daily. So, you know, kind of expect to win it, right? I can buy something else. I think we buy the Guppy item. It does take our HP down by one. And there's one more Guppy item! This is unbelievable. But we can't afford it. There's no way we're getting 15 cents. So, uh, two enemies, a normal one and a super one, is a bit of a dick. We can one-shot the small parts of enemies. We can one-shot the second-sized parts of enemies, yeah? But we're basically beating the shit out of enemy. I'm happy. Uh, and then we concentrate on super enemies. Pretty, pretty. Um, all our damage upgrades have really come together on this run. And as noted, this is standard luck. You know, we started off as even with the... I remember what the first passive item we started with. We started with a nail. Oh, Leo, of course. We started with two things that gave us damage downgrades. And we've done nothing but get damage upgrades ever since. And if we can get that one more Guppy item that we really, really need. Which is feasible, because we could still get it out of the shop or out of this chest. Well, that chest gave us the HP that we spent <laughs> in the first place getting nine lives. So one more Guppy item will do it for us. I don't think it's worth re-rolling this, we don't have any bombs anyway, and we can't buy anything, so why re-roll? I guess. Uh, die. Our damage is great, we still have to be ultra three, and we are next. Which isn't helping. It's not helping at all. So down on the wound. At least we can go to both eyes and rooms without worrying too much about it. Uh, immaculate Conception. I think you have to pick up a lot of HP to make Immaculate Conception work. And we re-roll Able because it's shit, and now we have Three more HP from the body, which is fine. Right, there's two guppy items in here, so all we need to do is decide which one we want. I don't need to shoot those because I can stand on them. Uh, and honestly, I think we go with guppy's paw, so we save our money for guppy's paw. We can also reroll on this room too. I'm gonna go to the curse room at the end because I'm doubtlessly gonna take damage, and I'd rather use my uh, my black hearts to damage the room then just squander them on going to the first room. Yep, there's one there. There's our uh, tears upgrade, which comes from the milk. And any speed upgrade would be greatly appreciated if there's another one. Hey, there's. At least we can kill uh, most enemies whilst they're vulnerable. I mean, a lot of enemies are shooting at us, which is kind of what they do. I, I'm in the habit of pressing the button when our reroll is ready, even if I don't necessarily want that reroll. Just in case it can do us some good. We're actually only on 12 coins, so maybe I should have waited until we had 15 coins, bought one of these, and rerolled the rest. Um, did we leave anything in either room? I don't think we did. We got Immaculate Conception in the body, and I think maybe we should not have taken Immaculate Conception, but we'll see. Pretty sure it works on. HP picked up. I, I, I could be wrong. I'm quite likely to be wrong. I'm wrong about a lot of things. But we are on them um, Swallow Penny as well, so. We could just walk in here and swap HP for. Yeah, that was actually really good. I swapped HP for money, and now I'm going to buy Guppy's Paw. It turns us into Guppy. We take the D6. I use Guppy's Paw once. I think I'm only going to use it once. We reroll everything and then we get Judas's Shadow. Not very good things, basically. And I don't think we're really going to be able to afford anything else on this board. So we save our money. That's going to be the play now. We save our money. We use our newfound guppiness. Guppiness, not gut. Guppiness. What would a guppiness be? Gut is not even so Stop with your dirty minded panic. That was a very difficult thing to get out of. Um, Guppy is going to help us super hard on Ultra Greed. We're going to have 7 cents. We could buy the bomb. I don't really think that's necessarily a great idea. We try not to get exploded too much by the float. Yeah, we're doing a ton of damage, and if you add the flies, we're going to break. There's no way I was going to that way. Uh, we are pretty much gold. Anything that can help us cope with uh, taking damage from explosions, i.e. Um, the explosive type post-hat or, or uh, Pyromaniac, is going to be super 
Keeper on the list because Ultra Green Phase 2 is very long heavy. I don't know where these passes are, so I can't avoid their shot. Ah, really difficult to do. But we got both at the same time, thanks for fine. We have a reroll ready for this, which gives us two things I do want. Infamy and the Circle of Protection, which is actually an Angel Room item. Uh, and there's Guppy's Tail, which I'm not going to take because it just costs us HP. There's no value to it. Uh, so at least I've got my head on straight. There is that much. I'm going to pop these in case they're a Tinted Rock. I tried not to pop that Polyp in case it shot me, but I popped it anyway. Is there anything to squish? Yeah. We should min-max for coins, basically. We have 20. Ooh, we have 20. That's interesting. That's five here on a bomb. Basically five cents on a guaranteed reroll. And I think we do take purity because if that gives us a speed boost or a tears upgrade, that's amazing. Of course, it disappears when we get hit uh, and is actually going to reroll. Uh, oh, it's going to we're, we're keep it. We've still got our um, tears upgrade. So that's fine. It's going to, we're going to lose it when we get hit. I will re-roll this, for sure. Uh, but, until, well, <laughs> having said that, now I'm going to give all my HP away to this uh, demon baby here. Uh, we have things that benefit us for getting hit, is what I'm saying here, so. We will swap the purity boost for whatever we go to get instead of the purity boost, which... What do we get when we get hit? We get the milk play. That was high hand pills, which does nothing for us. But at least it does nothing rather than a bad thing. Uh, missing page two is meh, the devil, and the high priestess. Sounds like a stereophonic song, but it isn't. Crystal of this, we'll take that. We'll take our card, apparently. Uh, and when we enter the next room, we'll get our speed up. Room. We're going to lose our speed upgrade and replace with the damage upgrade for this room, which I will accept. Can't remember what circle of protection does, it's been a while since I've had it. We'll save the High Priestess card for a boss. Apparently it causes enemies to explode up in our grills. Not really, uh, well, when I was a kid. I think it might damage enemies to get into it, which is a problem because both enemies will explode. Press the button because I do actually have a reroll target this time. Which is here. He gave us a fate, which is a uh, eternal heart, so even though we can already fly, I'm okay with it. We have a speed upgrade as well, thanks to um, our, our um, purity stat boost. So we'll take. I guess what we want to do. I'd like to be able to carry two cards, but quite honestly, because that is not a thing that we can do. I mean, it's not uh, it's not important enough to have bought an item to allow us to do that. Uh, but I would like to have the High Priestess and the Devil so we can have an extra damage thing going on and then still use High Priestess on the boss to try and you know, beat through the boss's HP quickly. We're going fine entirely thanks to the flies, to be honest. Oh, I get the boss. That's the setting, but I can lift it. And then no blow, please. Great. Uh, and just in time for deal with the devil, we can... Oh, hello. And this boss is probably where I should have saved that for, but it's too so that's okay. With our, with our guffiness, we are somewhat being a crap out of We have plenty of room. You don't tend to think about it, because you usually fight the fallen on a uh, normal single route really hard. There's no room to manoeuvre. On this room, you can dodge around all of its shots. We have two runes, a Yera rune and a Perthro rune. We don't need the Perthro rune. We might be able to get something out of the Yera rune on the next floor when we have um, a ridiculous amount of money on the ground. We would just try not to use it. Do we want to re-roll here? This is the eternal question because I'll buy this. There's no bomb for sale. Spend some money on re-rolling, and we get incubus. So 
so I'm glad I did. <laughs> the reason I thought that was okay is that we're going to get twice as much money on the next floor thanks to you. Yeah. High Priestess. Oh. I mean, we could buy, we could re-roll in here and buy what? What was the replacement? Bob's right here. Right. So, we could, if we wanted to, buy whatever's, like, re-roll with the D6. Oh, excuse me, and buy whatever it re-rolls into, but I think I'm going to save that for this floor. Because I just feel like it's somewhat more of a... I bought a key by accident. That can have it. I don't even need that. Um, I feel like there's more of a chance of getting something decent out of that. I will buy Steven. I will play the Demon Judgment, but not right now. Oh, we should re-roll. I want to buy the Soul, though. We don't need to min-max the re-rolls to this extent. We have a rate of fire upgrade, and I think that's good for us. So I'm going to press this button until there's a bunch of money on the ground. This is fine. I think our Incubus shots are also producing fires. I would expect uh, Try not to pick up any money. You know when you've accidentally picked up money because you will have some. We started off with the money. This thing is not going to die unless we beat the entire wave all at once. Which is never going to happen, because they keep being gated by time. Right, okay. That was a super annoying situation, because... Oh, Circle of Protection. I've accidentally picked six cents. Terrible. Circle of Protection sometimes turns enemy bullets back on them. Turns them around and wow, okay. There's a lot of damage on this floor. Mostly trying to avoid money. Uh, that makes a homing shot. Fucking how many floats can be on one room? Two apparently. Well, it's probably being a little bit hyperbolic, but at the same time, I'm also the next fight in the float, so. Me, I guess. What is this though? <laughs> the bloke down there about to land on top of me, and I've got Conquest up here beating the shit out of me. It's kind of why I didn't want to play the Demon Judgment right now, because this is a difficult call. Right, this next wave does not Yera. give us any money, so I will Yera all this money. Which is gonna be. Man, it's like playing Mario. 37, 44, 46, 48. 49.50, 51, 52 cents, which is great, that's a lot of cents, that made a lot of sense. I will buy the soul, it will certainly help us against the first phase of Ultra Speed, even if not the second. Thank you for not letting me spend proper heart like that. But at least it's giving us money when we get hit. Tower could be good, um, reserve judgement on that for now. Fate's reward. I think I will leave that there for a, a D6 reroll, which I will do now. It rerolled. <laughs> just what? I'm not a fan of that. Uh, I might buy a battery charge and reroll again. That's good. So we now have two breakfasts. Thanks, chaos. Uh, Jesus juice is probably worth buying. And the meat. Oh, holy mantle! Sorry. A bit excited, I understand. Uh, there's nothing else to do with our money except... Well, we might as well take this HP. Have done with it. That will at least be followed for this final deal with the devil, which we will try for, even though it's very, very scary. We've already been hit by Holy Mantle. But Holy Mantle will at least save us against one hit, uh, which will protect our uh, purity. And we just got Abaddon, which is very, very decent indeed, because it means we don't get to keep any of the HP we just paid for, but we will take it, because it's actually 6 HP, and it gives us the Leviathan transformation, which is a speed and damage upgrade, which I didn't expect, but I'm very happy about. Been into the curse room. This is the tower. The tower may or may not be useful. I don't think this is a good way of making any more money out of this. Money? Money, money, money. I don't think you can get money from rocks without drinking it, allowed you to do so. Maybe we'll find a Right, well, Ultra Greed time. 
this is a very, very interesting first go at Ultra Greed. Uh, on easy. Normal Greed is easy. There's a bunch of money which we could have done with before. And I think we save the tower card when there's a shitload of stuff on the grid. So Guppy plus Incubus is going to be ridiculously good for us. Maybe we save the tower card what? for when um, we can't fight the keys off the front. Another half. I don't know if I can. Make sure that Greed can't pick up these for this bunch. Because that's 5 cents is a bunch of. Meaningless to me. When he flashes blue like that, the boss armor is down. So whenever there's bombs on the ground, like flying around, whenever he's doing his bomb point, and he hides from them, as long as you're not going to get hit, as much damage as you can with the. Uh, with the, um, with the, the blue face. Definitely kill the hearts. I mean, this is a great time to have Sack Dagger because it really helps against uh, those enemies. Against those uh, points. I think at some point you want to consider using this tower card like, right now. I was kind of hoping that um, with bombs on the ground, we would duck and go to lose them. I think it only does that when it's got its own point now. Circle of Protection is actually super protecting me right now, so very much. Um, it's, it's sending Greed's coin shot back at Greed. We're not doing enough damage, unfortunately, to, um, to be able to kill too many of these hearts. So Greed is actually hitting the wheel. I don't know if we've been hit yet, but I don't think I've taken any damage. Kind of difficult to tell. Right, this is the hard part. We have nine lives, which is only there because we want it just. Um, unfortunately, it means we have nine lives. Which means if we die, we die nine times. There's no way around, really. Remember, oh, there was our holy man. So that's the first time we've been hit. All left. Uh, second time. Fair enough. Remember to move laterally when it jumps at you because there will be a trail of bullshit behind it. Everything is explodey on this friend. So the trick is just not to be near it. Which is easier said than done in many situations. Yeah, even those fishes. I mean, those fishes are impossible to dodge at the best of times, you know, when they're gay. So I don't know how I'm supposed to avoid them at this stage of the game. Let's go protect them. Uh, I think because um, we have so many flies around us, then basically any time one of these coins lands near us, it's going to fire all the flies that are soaking us. We get near green. Thank you to Circle Protection, by the way, for also reflecting back these exploding shots, turning them into shots that will attack green. Also, I'm pretty sure most of everything on this. I don't know if anything is basically doing a full market. So we have plenty of HP and I think we've got this in the bag finally. Um, plenty of space. Nah. Yeah that didn't even do a full heart damage. If an explosion isn't doing a full heart damage then yeah, we have one. that is Whew. Metronome has appeared in the basement. Brilliant. So I'm super happy to have actually succeeded on my first Eden run um, as against Ultra Speed, considering that it wasn't that great at the start in the first place because we had such low speed and our main uh, our main benefit was being able to get the HP out of the nail. <laughs> it doesn't make for a good Eden start, but it did make for a good Eden end. Thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, maybe I'll do an Eden run and try and get to the... Uh, uh, void fight. Oh, and yes, of course, it's a bit but that's also cool. Yes, I will try and do maybe an Eden Delirium victory, or we will try any of the million other things that we have to do. But until next time, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.